guys. So we got pistols, uh, and Kenzie's going to show us some really good pistols, and we're going to go over uh, different variations and subs for pistols. So pistol, one-legged squat. Kenzie likes to hold her foot, which is really helpful for some people. She does a really good job keeping her heel down when she squats, so really important that you guys have that ankle range of motion. So if ankle range of motion is just not your thing, you just don't have it, your heel comes up off the ground, then one of the options is to grab a plate or something solid like that you can kind of place your heel up onto. And then you guys can do a pistol from here. This gives you a little bit more ankle range of motion. It allows you guys to still push through your heel um, and instead of kind of going up onto the ball of your foot. So that's one option. Still a really hard scaling option for people. So a next option, maybe it's not your ankle range of motion or your strength. You guys can go to a target. The lower the target, the harder it's going to be. Just make sure it's not too easy here. So Kenzie's just going to a chair and then coming right back up. She's not gonna sit down on it or bounce off of it. Yeah, so still staying really tight and controlled. Another option, you guys can use that chair, that bench, or whatever you have to do lateral step ups. So she's gonna sit like she's doing a, a pistol, so kind of forward, and then just slowly stand up. And then the big key here is controlling yourself down. You can see how she kind of like leans forward um, on her way down and sits her hips back. Uh, the last option here, so these pistols are never actually allowed in a workout, but they're really good if you guys want to build up one-legged strength and not worry about uh, mobility as much. You guys can put an ankle or a foot behind the leg that you guys are going to do a pistol on, and you guys can work the pistol that way. So you guys can try this out. You may find maybe you can't do a pistol at all, but you may find that you're able to actually get those done. Um, what I would suggest is that you guys just change up the subs that you do. Don't always stick to one thing. Kind of ha have some variation when you guys practice these.